I spent a thousand dollars on a refurbished MacBook Pro from Back Market, and I 100% would do it again. Oh wait, I already did. Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Demi. I am your Muslim homegirl. And if you want to be homies with me, you would definitely hit that subscribe button because what? Homies support homies. Hey, y'all. Hey, I know you guys haven't seen me in a while, but that's because my computer is shot, is broken. I can't work with this. Look at my screen. Look at my screen. It's getting on my nerves, okay? My laptop is broken. So I went and got me a big. That's why the screen broke now. <laughs> I went and got me a refurbished MacBook Pro off of Back Market. Look how big this computer is. Like, it's literally bigger than my head. I mean, I think the other one was bigger than my head too. But this one, this one is a 15.4 inch MacBook Pro. And I got this one refurbished off of Back Market, okay? So Back Market is a website that sells used technologies such as cell phones, they got your iPhones up there, they got your AirPods, they got your watches, they got all these types of refurbished stuff that you need, that you want, that you don't want to pay full price for. Because listen, we are in a recession and coins are tighter than skinny jeans in the 2000s, okay? The early 2000s, all right? So it's time to buy refurbished. We don't need the newest tech. I mean, if you got it, then spend it. But if you don't, go to back market and get you something refurbished, honeys, because that's what I did. And if you wanna be like me, you're gonna go to back market, okay? This video is 100% not sponsored. First of all, let me tell y'all a little bit about back market just in case y'all don't know, like I didn't know. I was searching for a new laptop because not only is my screen broken on my computer, my computer is always talking about some no space, no space, no space, no space. I don't like that. I do a lot of editing. Y'all say I have this little YouTube channel here. If y'all want me to keep editing, subscribe to the channel, like this video. Um, so I use iMovie. I use a lot of the apps from Adobe such as Photoshop and Lightroom and my computer. The space, it just didn't have it, okay? So back market sells items that have been tested and rarefied, okay? So back market, it's not the company that sells these laptops. They have a lot of different sellers. They have a lot of different suppliers. Think about eBay, but just strictly for technologies and things that have been better verified and better, you know, checked through. Because this laptop right here, this joint, when I unboxed it, hold on, run the unboxing clip. My laptop is literally perfect, okay? When you're buying off of back market, like I said, it is refurbished, so it's not gonna be brand spanking new. They have three different conditions. They have fair, good, excellent. I bought my computer in good condition, but the quality on this computer, you can't tell me this isn't excellent. Like, how is this not excellent? I feel like if you get an excellent one, then it must be in the Apple box because this good one, it's excellent to me, okay? When shopping on back market, they also have a feature where you can filter out what you're looking for. So I was looking for a MacBook Pro. I was looking for way more speed than my current laptop has. I think my current laptop has eight gigabytes of RAM. And if you're into editing, that is definitely not enough. Your computer is gonna be slow. It's not gonna be slow, but it's not gonna be able to keep up with these editing programs, especially as you keep editing it inside the program, which just makes the file bigger and bigger and bigger. When I first bought my laptop, I had no idea about these things. So I'm telling you, I'm telling you so you know, if you're trying to do YouTube, you need more than eight gigabytes of RAM on your laptop, okay? So I was searching for something that was like double. I had eight, I was looking for 16. The laptop that I bought, this sucker got 32 gigabytes of RAM, okay? And as far as SSD, which is the actual space on the computer, I have a whole terabyte of storage on my computer. Like I'm going to download everything that I ever wanted to download because I will not run out of space. Y'all realize how big a terabyte is? I'm in love. As I stated in the beginning of this video, I spent about $1,000 on this computer. The actual computer cost about $950, I believe. But after shipping, after taxes, 
after the protection plan because they do offer a protection plan which is $120. I'm an adult, I'm in my late 20s. I need all the protection because if something happens to my laptop, like I'm dealing with this old laptop now, I no longer have Apple Care on it, it ran out and they didn't even notify me that it was running out because I definitely would have renewed that subscription. I bought the protection plan and everything came up to roughly $1,052, which I know it sounds like a lot, especially from someone like me that always claims to be broke and claims to be El Cheapo. But just think about the amount of RAM that I have on this computer. 32 gigabytes. And think about the amount of space I have on this computer. One terabyte of SSD. Now this is the new MacBook Pro off the Apple website. It has eight gigabytes of unified memory, which is the RAM. Mine has 32. This one has 256 SSD. Mine has one terabyte, okay. They want $1,300 for this. Now this one does have a better processor than mine, but I just feel like the processor on mine, it's really good for the amount of money I paid, so I'm not too worried about that. I actually bought my laptop from this seller right here, Omaha Blue, is that how you say it? I don't know, I can't remember how it's spelled, I'm just going off the top of my head. And they actually have a lot of good reviews. When I bought from this seller, I didn't even know that this was a good seller. I didn't know anything about anything about anything about anything about anything when I bought from Back in Market, okay? They could have really scammed me and I would have been a fool, okay? I literally just Googled places to buy refurbished laptops came up. And of course, Apple came up, Best Buy came up, and then Back Market came up. And I read a lot of different articles and they just kept listening back to market. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try this website. And I saw those prices. I was like, oh yes, this is the website for me, honey. I don't think I'm ever gonna buy a new device ever in life again, because if I can get it for this price, why am I paying full price? Why am I paying full price? I really have nothing negative to say about this company. They even have great customer service. I reached out to them in regards to my shipping and they literally responded to me like 20 minutes later. Like they're on their Zoom, okay? My computer shipped super fast and it better have because I paid an extra $40 to get it quicker, okay? If you're gonna pay the extra $40 to get it a uh, second day air, just know that you have to place your order before 1 p.m. or else it'll still take an extra day for them to process your order and whatnot. Like I think I ordered on Monday and the laptop came on Thursday and they do have a 30 day return policy. So if something was wrong with this computer, you can send us like a bag in 30 days and they do provide you the return label. So you don't have to even pay to ship it back. Just make sure you put it in a secure box and you'll be good to go. The only problem that I have with the computer and it's not really a problem with the computer. It's like more of a demi problem. The computer is so freaking big. Like I'm gonna show y'all a picture comparing the two. Now I know it's a 15.4 and I saw that when I bought it. And the old computer that I have, I have a 13.3. I didn't think the two inches would matter that much, but they matter. Inches do matter. This computer feels freaking huge to me. I've been referring to it as my freaking tank. I've even been telling people like, I feel like I literally have a TV with a keyboard because it is so freaking big. It has so much keyboard space and it's noticeably heavy. Like, I don't know, I just, I don't know, I'm not really feeling it. I might have to send it back. Mm, I don't know. Three days later. Hey y'all, so the size of that other laptop was killing me. I had to buy another one. And it just got here. So this laptop is from DMD. Let's see what's going on. It's packaged exactly the same, safe and sound. Here are the accessories I'm guessing. Yep, got the Apple charger. Looks in good condition to me. Well, this one I bought in uh, fair condition, so it's not as new as the other one that I got. I really wanna see what's going on with this laptop, honeys. one is much smaller and it looks gorgeous no scratches and it looks gorgeous no scratches no scratches at all let's see what the inside looking like oh this is fair condition oh and it turned right on look at that that sucker turned right on and it looks good to be in fair condition honey and this is fair condition Oh no, someone is still logged in. Oh my gosh, why would they send me a computer with somebody else logged in? What am I gonna have to do? 
Wait, it's not logged in. Look what they have. They removed the password from the profile. Um, it says the password is uh, 1234. Let's see, 1234. I was about to be so mad if somebody else was still logged into my stuff. And it works. Oh, and we got some battery up there. We gonna get right to business, honey. So as you guys saw, I went and got me a new computer, the 13.3 inches, because that 15 inches, it was just too big. It was noticeably heavier. And I carried my laptop back and forth to work and it was just too much going on for me. So I went and got the smaller one. And I know you guys are like, oh, it's not that much bigger. You should have just kept it, but no. If I'm going to be spending $1,000, I want what I want. And I got the smaller one. I ordered the laptop on Sunday and it actually arrived on Wednesday. I didn't even pay the extra shipping this time. I was like, okay, I trust back market. I know it's not a scam. I know they're gonna send me my stuff. They actually still sent it in two days. So, so before you pay for that extra shipping, the extra $40, make sure you check the shipping dates because they are very accurate, okay? They really got me with that $40 last time, but it's all right. Anyways, this computer, it was actually a $22 difference, like total difference. And this one, this one still has the 32 gigabytes of RAM and it has two terabytes of storage, y'all. Two terabytes of storage. Like, oh my gosh, I am so in love. This laptop is so fast. I've actually been doing some editing on it and it is so freaking fast. Ah. I am so in love. Yeah, so I got this one from DMD Technologies. And let me just show y'all because I do have a new case on it. Look at my cute pink case. I got this from Amazon and it actually has a little kickstand. So your laptop can be like on an angle if it's like on a desk. And it also has, oh, I took it off. It actually has like a keyboard cover here, like one of these, but I took it off because these keys are much better than my keys on my last laptop they're raised more or so I can actually hear the click clacking and click clacking and click clacking of me working. I love that. Like I can just hear my productivity. And with the other laptop, I felt like it was so big and the keys were further apart. So I felt like my fingers had to travel just to type. Like I was getting hand fatigue. We ain't got time for that, honey. We ain't got time for that. But the plus side about this laptop also versus my old laptop, it has four ports ports on each side, which I absolutely love because sometimes I like to lean a bit and do my work. And when I'm laying down, my computer be on a slant. So I like that I can put the charger on either side. Overall, my experience was a 10 out of 10 out of 10. Like I said, this video is not sponsored. I spent my $1,000. I'm gonna show you the price that I paid right here. That's all my money, okay? I would recommend Back Market 100%. If Back Market watches this video one day, sponsor your girl because I'm telling everybody, go get your laptop up a Back Market and stop playing these games, okay? But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you found this video to be helpful, give this video a big thumbs up. And hit that subscribe button just in case you want to see my face here and there. If you want a little update on the laptop in the future, maybe like two months down the line, subscribe to the channel so you can be notified when I post that video. Oh, and not only did the case come with one of these, it also came with a pink one. I think it's in my room, but I don't feel like getting up. But it also came with one of these, which is a uh, USB to USC kind of thing. So you plug this into your uh, MacBook and then you can plug in a regular uh, USB. This is gonna be in the description box in case you guys are interested. Shop my Amazon affiliate links where I will be paid a little bit, just a little bit if you buy anything from those links. But once again, thank you guys so much and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.